Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, super excited. I hope you guys are super excited. So much excitement. Uh, today I'm going to be filming my first makeup tutorial. So, for this makeup tutorial, it's going to be an everyday glam tutorial. It's going to be what, what, what your girl is wearing right now. Mm. Mm. Um, this is the look I wear on a daily basis. It's I wear this all the time. It's 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 my go-to look. So I wanted to show you guys this look and there's a lot of optional things within the video that you'll notice that you can change and alter to make it what you're comfortable with wearing for an everyday look. This is what I like to wear every day. It might be a little bit too glam for you so there's some things that you can do to make it a little bit less glam. Uh, so, yeah, I'm so excited to film this video for you guys. I really hope you enjoy it. Uh, all of the products that I use are in the description below, so you can check out what they are. And if you want to use the products that are in it, you can see what they're, what they are. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. And, yeah, let's get started. Oh, parkour! We're in. All right, kids, after a camera drop and mentally preparing myself to do my makeup, we're gonna do it. So we're gonna start off, prime in the face. Prime in the face. I'm gonna take the Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer. It's good stuff. Um, not expensive, that's always preferable. Oh my gosh, that's too much. I'm getting this look from my mans, and I don't know what it means. <laughs> I'm getting several looks from my mans. I don't know what it means. <laughs> what that one means? Oh, girl, it's so hot in here. Y'all see my face getting like real red? It's because it's toasty in here, and I'm a redhead. So that's just how this whole thing is. Yeah, I'm going hardcore right now. Like, how do people just so nonchalant when talk to their camera? That's what I'm like. Did you see that? I do not have it. So now we're gonna look real spicy. Looking looking real good. I don't remember which eye I primed. No, kids, we're not using eye primer. Because that's an extra expense we don't need. Unacceptable expenses. Uh alright. So now that our face is all primed and ready to go, uh, we're gonna take foundation. Yeah. Alright, so foundation, I know this is expensive stuff. However, if you are like the palest human on the planet. The Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation, good stuff. My favorite foundation, personally. I got the color 110 because I'm white. Where'd my beauty blender go again? Oh my god. This is like the 80th time I've lost my beauty blender. Like, mm, mm -mm. So I'm gonna put some pumps on the back of my hand. Take my beauty blender that I need a new one of. Mm -mm. Oh, girl. So now that we got our base layer, I'm gonna build coverage up a little bit because it is medium coverage foundation. I'm about that full coverage. So I'm gonna build it a little bit where I'm really red, which is really my entire face. But anyway, uh, we're going to do concealer. Yay. Uh, so I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Master Conceal and this is in the color Fair because um, so, I'm gonna put a little bit, whoop, that's too much, mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna put a little bit under the eye, put a little bit more there, because we don't sleep here on this channel, so, uh, I really want to look somewhat awake.
this now. Yeah. A million pounds of foundation and concealer on our face. We're gonna set all of it. Oh girl, alright. So for setting powder, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I don't know if y'all run into the struggle. This is the chance of someone, by the way. Um, I don't know if y'all run into the struggle, but if I apply either a pressed powder or a powder with any form of a brush, um, it takes off the coverage of my foundation. And so, I have to use a loose setting powder with my beauty blender, because otherwise, the coverage of my foundation will come off. And that will do a very extreme fire. Um, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take the flat side of my beauty blender, dip it in my powder, and we're just gonna pack it into the skin. Now this is basically the same thing you do when you're baking, however, we're just gonna keep pressing it in as opposed to just like setting it on the skin. I don't know, is this good for your skin? Probably not. That's fine, we do skincare. So for contour, I'm gonna be taking the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette. Um, in this color, Dolce de Leche, Spanish. And then I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques. I'm pretty 98% sure this is a Real Techniques brush. It'll be great. So we just gotta carve out them cheekbones, make them look all smash. Yeah, but. Uh, now, since I am a very pale person, bronzer does not look good on me. It just makes me look like an Oompa Loompa, which is not preferable. So I use my contour in places where you would often bronze. And it helps me look less ghostly. Barely. Alright, so we're gonna move on to blush for blush. I am using one of the sample things that I got in um, an Estee Lauder skincare package thing. They give you like sample packets, stuff. Those are what I live on. So um, I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder Blush Subtle. Yeah. This stuff has lasted me for actually ever. Um, as you can see, it's kind of a peachy gold blush. It's nice. I like it. Just dip that in there. And then I'm gonna pop it on my face. Like, that's all. Look like I'm just so excited to make it. Whee! Nice. For all of my extremely pale people, and for my redheads, the whole two of you that there are, this stuff is the bomb.com for redheads and for extremely pale people. So for my eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with the Just For Redheads Mascara um, in the color red because my hair is so red that I need to use actually red stuff for my eyebrows. Now while yes, this is technically a mascara, that's fine. I'm gonna use it anyway. Oof, I can't see. Girl, I'm about to pull out the mirror. All right. So I don't have a really intense eyebrow routine just because I don't feel like I need to. And the simpler it is for me, the better, because I'm lazy. <laughs> One eyebrow. They look so intense compared to the rest of my extremely pale face. Oh. Close enough. For now. I just want you guys to know the situation that we're in right now. Um, my tripod was not intended to hold a phone which is what I'm using for my camera. And uh, so I have my phone, my extremely large phone, balanced sideways on this little co top corner section of my tripod. That's what we're doing. That's why this tutorial is so long. <laughs> okay. 
Coastal Sense. Hey, you can see my ring light. Uh, Coastal Sense is the bomb. They have really cheap, like really, really cheap makeup. It's really affordable. So, just so y'all know. Uh, so for my lid color, I'm gonna be going in with this shimmery white shade here. Hey, hon. Yeah. What time is it? Yeah. All right, now that we got that on our eyeball, looking good, looking spicy. So the palette I'm gonna be using, I don't know if it is actually like sold, and, but I know you can find the colors for it, so it'll be fine. Now I'm gonna be using is the next Happy Birthday palette because I got it for free at Ulta when it was my birthday. Yeah, yeah, free stuff. For my blending brush and pretty much the brush I do all of my eye makeup with as of right now, um, I know it's a Coastal Sense brush. That is all I know. So we're gonna go in with this taupe color right here. It's gonna be our transition shade. Pop that in the crease. Using a very light hand, you don't wanna get too rough with the hand because then it doesn't look nice and we wanna look nice. So we got that in the crease. It's not very noticeable, but it's subtle enough to where you can like get a good guideline of what you're gonna be doing. We're gonna be going in with this burnt orange eyeshadow. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna put that in the lower section of the crease, focusing most of the pigment on the outer corner of the eye. And then we're gonna start gently blending up towards the brow bone. The higher up you blend, the lighter your hand needs to get. shadow on we're gonna move on to this deep warm purple shade right here and we're gonna put that in the very outer corner of the eye kind of more stippling it on as opposed to blending it out because you want the color focused in just this one little area right here and just a little more depth to the look <laughs> Okay, so now we've got that done. <laughs> We're gonna go back in with the shimmery white eyeshade that we used earlier. Same brush. And we're gonna focus that back on the lid. Going back in with the same brush and that burnt orange color, we're going to put that on the lower lash line. Next step is optional. Uh, we're going to do our tight line and water line. For this one, I'm going to be taking another one of those sample products from Estee Lauder. And I'm going to be taking the Estee Lauder Pure Color Eyeliner Pencil in Black and Black. Now you can use a uh, brown uh, eyeliner or black or none at all, um, but I'm going to put that in my waterline and then I'm going to tightline. For my eyeliner, I'm going to be using another sample product, yay! Uh, I love this stuff though. So. I'm excited to purchase it. I'm going to be using the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner in Intense Black. Now I'm running out of it, so i got to shake it up real nice. Pray to the eyeliner guys that we can do this well. Alright. Huh? 
That's the best wing I've done in a while. <laughs> the question I am asked on a daily basis by my boyfriend. Can I do it again? Probably not. Gonna try though! Oh dang, could it be? I've done it again! You're going to prep for eyelashes. You do not need to wear eyelashes with this look. Not necessary at all. I personally like wearing fake eyelashes, so I'm going to. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our mascara. So I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Voluminous False Fiber Lashes. If you would like to stop there with just mascara, you totally can. Uh, I'm gonna do eyelashes though because I'm gonna commit. For eyelashes, these are the greatest eyelashes ever. I love these so much. I'm gonna be using the Ardell Double Up 207s. I love these. So now we've got the eyes done. I'm psyched. Looks pretty good today. So now we're gonna move on to lips. Now, for lips. It's very optional, very versatile. Uh, you can do pretty much whatever you want for lips. You can do a nude, you can do a pink, a purple, red, or nothing at all. It's 100% up to you. Uh, since red is my color, I'm gonna be going in with red. My red today is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the color Rubino. This is my favorite liquid lipstick. Um, other colors that look very similar to Rubino are Jeffree Star's Unicorn Blood and NYX's Cherry Skies. Oh, this one's my favorite though, I'm just saying. Okay. So we've got that done. Now, we are gonna do our highlight real quick, and then that's gonna be it, everybody. So for highlighter, I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick, and this is the color 100 Light Iridescent. All right, everybody, there you go, that's it. This is what I do for my everyday glam makeup. I hope you guys like this look. If you recreate it, show me, send it to me, I wanna see. Uh, yeah, that's everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, because those are fun. Um, if you really liked it and you want to see more of my sh up upcoming shenanigans, you should probably subscribe. That's always fun. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you guys later.